And then, of course, as the day progresses, the heat builds and the uh, cumulus clouds uh, begin to build as well. And you can see just a whole shit ton of moisture in that atmosphere right there. See that? See that whole black anvil? So uh, every day it's been raining, you know, about, uh, I don't know, what, 5, 6 p.m. Sometimes last night it rained about 9 p.m. You know, there's some real nice thunder and lightning. But uh, moisture's, moisture's a given every day. May not be a lot, but it's going to rain a little bit at least. You know, and that's why this area is so lush, you know. So even just going south of Tucson a little bit, you get, you know, this why you get sunflowers growing on the side of the road. I mean, it's it's just so much more verdant and green the lower latitudes you go, you know. But it's basically a transition from uh, from desert to the subtropics, you know. Green as hell. It's just a beautiful Quercus oblongifolia, you know. Bacchus salicifolia, member of the sunflower family. Dioecious plants, that means plants are either male or female, at least in that genus. This is a type of ambrosia. It's like a weedy ambrosia. I believe ambrosia, it's another genus in the sunflower family, is entirely New World, meaning on the west side of the Atlantic. Nice erigeron, huh? Erigeron's always got those uh, uniseriate phyleries. Just one series of phyleries there. See those bracts underneath those white rays? Oh, and the mosquitoes are out. Oh, what's this? Nice polypore over here. What's going on? Oh, yeah. That Tura, not blooming yet, unfortunately. You know, these will grow in Chicago. These do great in Chicago. They're treated more like an annual, so they just come back from seed every year, whereas in habitat, they come back from a perennial rootstock. But in Chicago, you get them going right, you know, in front of your house in Oak Lawn, you know, or down there off Archer Avenue, and they get up to like four or five feet tall. Beautiful white trumpet flowers number of the solanaceae oh, what the shit is this a kind of biden's or what yeah it looks like a kind of biden's maybe member of the aster family too nice senna with those extra floral nectaries and this say salponoid flower structure let's see what else we got further up the uh, little arroyo there the sky's looking real nice isn't it oh. Anyway, so real nice habitat, real nice sunset. Hopefully I don't get dumped on later. If I do, I brought an umbrella. But look at this Ipomea longifolia just going off. Remember I was uh, running my mouth about how they tend to bloom at night? Convolvaceae. I always fuck up saying the name. Convolvaceae. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, you get the gist. I'll annotate it when I put this thing up. But, you know, uh, basically Ipomea is, you know, mostly a vine. Except you get an Ipomea arborescent sometimes too. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> it looks like some weather. Maybe I don't know. Hopefully I'm a. Uh... Oh look at it! Then you got a pollinator going in there. Nice little sphinx moth. Come on, get it, buddy. You know, get some more of that. Get in there and get some more of that. You know you like that. You know you like that. Get in there. Oh yeah. You again? Huh? Where you go? We're not trying to mess with you. We just want to observe. Hey. That's a different one. That's that's different than the one I seen last night. This is he's got a he's more muscular. Large a big guy though. Look at how oily he is. Are you so oily? You put a lather on? What do you do? How do you feel about your genus being changed to Encilia salvarius, huh? Do you agree with that? Let's see if I can help you get lunch with this uh this light. <laughs> Show me how you move. Show me how you dance. Hey, guy, what's going on? You looking pretty good. Oh, yeah. What's that? Where are you going? Those beautiful markings. Yeah, look how oily he is. That's just... It's all the, uh, the toxin, I believe. Such a beautiful little guy. You're a big bastard, actually. Right, let's... Oh. Okay. All right. See you later. <laughs> Look at Jack. Okay, now this is pretty interesting. Coming up uh, beneath this Quercus amorei, 
uh, which, uh, remember, the roots of most oaks, of all oaks, are just ridden with mycorrhizae. Coming up uh, beneath this Quercus samorii, it, it appears to be a mycoheterotrophic orchid. You can see the leaf litter is just abundant, which then adds to the nutrients uh, that other fungi can uh, subsist on. And again, uh, you know, but these, these are stealing from mycorrhizal fungi in the ground, which is almost certainly uh, symbiotic with these oaks. You can see I'm in this beautiful desert wash. There's the lights of uh, the nearest small town municipality, which is quite far away. There's more of that Ipomia longifolia. And uh, hopefully I don't get bitten by a goddamn rattlesnake on my way out, because you can't really see too well, and it is a bit of a sketchy, uh, sketchy hike back to camp over there. But uh, let's look at this guy. Look at those flowers. It's just absolutely, absolutely incredible. You know, what's going on with that labellum right there? You can see that. Oh, he's got a little, some yellow, uh, yellow wrinkling on that lower lip. And again, achlorophilus, they do not produce any chlorophyll at all because they don't photosynthesize at all. They're just uh, stealing from fungi on the ground. Jack, you look as tired as I am. Holy shit, your eyes look terrifying in that light. <laughs> Sometimes I think he's an alien. Pretty wonderful plant, huh? Don't you love mycoheterotrophy? Convergent evolution in all its forms across all different kinds of families. But especially the orchids, since they're, you know, mycorrhizal to begin with. Remember, this is a this is a relationship that starts off as, hey, we're going to help each other out. And then the orchid, at some point in its evolutionary lineage, uh, and lots of different orchids do this, you know. It's evolved multiple times in the family Orchidaceae. Uh, you know, the orchid just at some point says, actually, you know what, I'm, I, I don't want to give you my share anymore. I just want to take you know, which is it, it's just kind of like uh, what the rich are doing today in the United States of America. You know, they're kind of just fucking us all. But uh, except the rich are nowhere near as beautiful as this orchid. Uh, you know, in fact, they're kind of they kind of fail. But uh, this orchid, on the other hand, is really something else. Anyway, there you go, uh, a mycoheterotrophic member of the Orchidaceae. All right, that's all I got. Hopefully, I can make it back without breaking my ass or getting bit by a viper. All right, go fuck yourself. Bye.